My name is Haruto Imori. I'm 33, and I work simple jobs every day. <sighs> this is so miserable. I really miss the kitchen. The reason I'm living this kind of life is because I have some mental trauma. The reason because of that, I worked as a chef, and the days were filled with joy. But then, the owner had to go and gamble away all the money. Then he ran the restaurant into the ground after taking out a lot of loans. Maki, my fiancé I live with, cheered me on, but... Don't worry, Haruto. You're a great chef. Just start a new store. The next day, I couldn't find my credit card. And I realized that the 80k that I had saved for the marriage ceremony had been withdrawn. The money was gone. 80% of that was my own money! Whatever! I don't want to do anything! This is just how life is now! Hey, mister. You've been here often. Are you homeless? What are you talking about? I don't live here. It's only been about three months. That's a pretty long time. Why are you staring at a closed-down restaurant? Maybe you're starving? Are you hoping someone will give you food? No! I used to work at the restaurant as a chef. <laughs> a chef? You're lying. You don't look like any chef I've seen. I know right now. I had some things come up. Go away! Okay, then. If you're really a chef, try this. Tell me what you think. What is this? Rolled cabbage? She kept it warm and brought it here? Did I really look like I was starving that badly? Don't worry about the little things. Give it a shot. <sighs> I didn't expect to have to taste loss after working as a chef. Hmm. Well? You're doing a good job using nutmeg to get rid of the gamey flavor. But nutmeg itself is a strong scent. It's hard to cover it up. But you're using sour plum to hide that. Hmm. Interesting. You're also using the nutmeg to cancel out the flavor of the cabbage, aren't you? Whoa! You can tell? It's harder to tell because of the seasoning, but vegetables also have a gamey scent. You can use spices and herbs to get rid of that, too. Nutmeg is especially good for that with cabbage. You have potato in here, too. You're using rosemary for that. Rosemary is a great flavor to add to this dish, too. That adds personal touch to it. You had one bite and you figured all that out? You really are a genius. What is this dish missing? Hmm. I think it's pretty darn good as it is, but... Salt. It needs a little salt. You're too concerned with the gamey scent that all the seasoning and herbs need to be balanced with a pinch of salt. You're the real deal. Come with me. Whoa! I'm still eating! This is a store that opened two months ago. It's temporarily closed right now. I found a place to open and the funds to start a business. But then, the chef... I'm sorry. I screwed up my back. I don't think I can cook anymore. But, but... That was a day before we opened. I didn't know what to do, so I opened all on my own. But it wasn't good enough to bring in the customers. So, I have a suggestion. You want to cook, but you have no kitchen. I have a kitchen, but I have no chef. How about we run this door together? Just because you can cook doesn't mean that it'll work out. What kind of store do you want to run? I... I want a store that is so memorable that people can't forget it. I want people to make memories they can cherish forever here. Ten years ago, I went into a nice little restaurant with my grandma. The food was great, but more than anything, I could really enjoy my time with her. She couldn't walk well, so she was in a wheelchair, but she loved the food, so I loved going with her. I want to provide that kind of store to my customers. I see. You knew I was a chef from the beginning, didn't you? <laughs> you figured it out. I could tell by the burns on your wrist. Do you have a notebook or something? Huh? I had one bite of your cabbage roll. I'll forget real quick about the flavor. I won't be able to cook it well. I'm gonna look over your entire menu. 
You can be the owner, and I'll be the chef. You can also be the sous chef. If that's good with you, then I'll make sure this store is memorable to everyone. My name is Imori Harato. I'm Megu Ono. Pleasure doing business with you. After that day, I restarted my career as a chef. The store is in an area with primarily elderly and retirees. We should try using a simpler taste. Simple? I didn't even think of that! Maybe we can try some dashy... Mmm! This is delicious! Good. Let's try that then. We need a few dishes for the younger customers. Maybe some dessert. We should make those desserts a little more impactful. After the menu is completed, we reopened and handed out some flyers to the area around us. Since it was a renewal opening, there will be some familiar faces. However, because there was only the two of us, we hired a part-time employee as help. The menu was perfect, and the word quickly spread of our opening. Many people came to our store, and even some gourmet magazines showed up to interview. I can't believe I sat in a park drunk and all alone. I'm so glad to be back in the kitchen. Welcome! Hello, Harito. I saw your article. M maki I told you. I knew you could do it. I believed in you. Did you actually show up here? What the hell are you thinking? Because I wanted to get back with you. I couldn't resist the temptation within my chest. Shut the hell up. Give me my money back. I'll give it back if you marry me. Let go! You're getting in the way of my work. I'll report you to the police. If you marry me, I'll do anything. Pardon me, can we help you? I heard you from the other room, but apparently you stole money from him? I was actually just talking to a lawyer about your case and how it can be considered larceny. Would you like to go talk in that room over there? Come on. Wh what After the store slowed down, Maki was talking to Megu and the lawyer for a while. She left the store looking defeated. Thank you. I'm heading out now. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Sorry about today. With Maki. Don't worry about it. I got her to sign some paperwork to give you your money back after a little while. I, uh... I appreciate it. I never really thought I'd be back in the kitchen. I have to thank you. What's going on? I wanted to give this to you. If you want. I'd like to give you my love along with my skills as a chef. <laughs> yes! Just like nutmeg is necessary for meals, Megu's love is necessary for my daily life. Do you guys have food that's memorable to you? Let me know in the comments. What did you guys think about today's story? Come by tomorrow too. Thanks for watching to the end. Hit the subscribe and notification button. Alrighty, bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.